I think sometimes I struggle with taking like direct compliments on the craft of things because it's not really that thought out. You just have to learn to like trust your instinct because sometimes just your instinct is kind of what your art is, you know, it's not this really calculated process. It's harder to be really sincere because you have to be really human and you have to be really soppy and a bit of a sigh and you have to be a bit soft, do you know what I mean? And it's easier to be ironic in the face of those situations. It's easier to like take the piss out of it or like be really sardonic. It's just something that I really, really noticed and I kind of wanted to denounce. And irony is okay, I suppose. Culture is to blame. Irony is okay. Like, it's fine. It's a tried and tested way of not really dealing with stuff. It's harder to be really sincere. It's harder to be soft and vulnerable in the face of, you know, earnestness. Like, it's serious shit. You try and mask your pain in the most postmodern way. Well, I suppose the tropes of postmodernism in pop culture are irony self-reference, self-awareness within the form, so like a character that knows it's a character in a movie. My whole thing is that I know I'm in within a song. I'm a writer within a context that exists outside and within these kind of things. Those acknowledgements within art are very postmodern ideas. And you lack substance when you say something like, oh, what a shame, it's just a self-referential way that stops you having to be human. I'm assuming you'll balloon when you remove the dirty spoon and start consuming like a human. That's what I am assuming. And I'm sure that you're not just another girl and I'm sure that you're gonna say that that was sexist. It's like, if you're like a bit of a rapey dude or whatever, you should be scared about me too. But I'm not really worried about those kind of things because I'm just not really like that. There's this spoken of fear. Like, what can I say? What can be said? What can I do around women? Like the answer is appropriate things. Like, you know, like objectively appropriate things. And I feel like you're running out of all the things I liked you for. Why can't we be friends when we are lovers? Because it always ends with us hating each other. Instead of calling me out, you should be pulling me in. I've just got one more thing to say. It's so easy to expel all of your insecurities onto the people that are closest to you. I think it is a reference to a reversion to a more forgiving set of social circumstances where an apology is accepted. And why would you believe you could control how you're perceived when at your best you're intermediately versed in your own feelings? Like social media breeds us to be incredibly insecure beings. My self-esteem isn't really wrapped up in social media because my relationship with social media is kind of like, this is what I do. Whereas for a lot of people, it's, and like young people especially, it's like, this is who I am. Like that's fucking brutal. Keep on putting off conceiving. It's only you that you're deceiving. Oh, don't have a child. Don't cramp your style. I'll leave it. I'm just pissed off because you pied me off after your show when you let go of my hand. If you're from England, you, you'll know what pied off means, especially because it's been popularised by the show Love Island. To be pied off is to be mugged off. Oh, you don't know what that means? If some, like, girl is just like, I don't know, you go in for the kiss or whatever, and they're like, nah, that's getting, that's, in that culture, is getting pied off. In front of some skat who wanted bit on your... No, I'm just messing. I mean, I'm not judging anybody for like being smart and I'm not expecting everybody to just come out and like spill their heart in a borderline inappropriate way. Like I'm learning about how to like better myself. So I couldn't have such an astute observation about myself and then not put it in a record because I think that's just how I operate. <laughs>